Built in 1914, this 11,000-square-foot apartment complex has been one of the few housing options for low-income tenants. However, that changed on January 25th when residents were forced to evacuate the unsafe Flora apartments. President and CEO of Omaha nonprofit Together, Mike Hornacek, says this is yet another example of inadequate affordable housing in Omaha. Uh, it's also a supply and demand issue. If there was enough low-income or affordable housing, situations like this wouldn't happen. Hornacek says approximately 12 households were paying in between $700 to $850 per month for a studio, one bedroom or two bedroom apartment. We were looking into apartments at first and like we didn't find many. I feel like a lot of apartments just like close up right away or like they they're really full and so you can't really find them but like just one street over from the floor apartments Creighton students Talia Para and Kylie O'Neill say had they not had previous connections the hunt for apartments within their budget would have been overdrawn Hornacek says it's not uncommon for landlords to take advantage of renters who are afraid to speak up for fear that they'll be replaced by other renters willing to live in the same filthy conditions it's, it's not enough to just inspect and record everything there needs to be enforcement Landlord William Stanick has been cited for building safety maintenance violations before. Nebraska Attorney Dave Pantos is working pro bono with displaced tenants.